no, 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 no. She's married to Lou Howell? We've had a kid with Lou Howell. No, 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 no. Please tell me you weren't married when we had that kid. Oh, I hate that. Hello everyone and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. So last month we did a bunch of spooky things for October, including building this spooky mansion for my sims to live in. But now that spooky month's over, I built them a new house, but I cannot remember where I put it. Oh, I put it in Windenburg. I forgot. I haven't built here in forever, so I thought it was about time. But at the same time, I never built here, which is why it took me so long to remember. I'll give you the full tour in a bit. We gotta move Shasha in and get her garden set up, but then we'll be good to go. All right, let's go back to our spooky house and pick them up. Goodbye, spooky mansion. You will be missed, but not your two storiness or not your tiny nursery. I won't miss either of those. Also, I forgot about the alien baby. I took like a week's break from this series because I don't know if you noticed, you got an extra episode in October and I managed to somehow forget about this. That will be interesting. Okay. But yeah, let's go through and make sure we have everything that's important. Now that I think about it, I might have forgotten cat stuff in the new house. So let's pick that up. I always forget something. This time it's the cat stuff. Let's see, we have the litter box and the food. Oh yeah, and the cat tree. Those are the essentials. I did put the Grim Reaper bike in the new house though, so we don't gotta worry about that. And then I wanna take all these plants with us. Oh, we don't have enough for the new house. Oh wait, we will once we demolish. I'm getting ahead of myself. I always forget that we get money from demolishing the house. All right, I'm gonna put all of this garden in our inventory and I will be back when it's done. This always takes forever. I've like streamlined it a bit with these bushes because I can put six of them on a plot and then move them all to my inventory at once. But as far as I know, there's nothing like that for the trees. I think I'll miss you most, big creepy tree. I sort of forgot that I put that there, that that wasn't on the lot by default. It just blended in so well to the environment. Can't forget our gym. And what is this? Is that ours? I don't think it's like a default part of the world because they don't usually have stuff like that encroaching on the lot. So maybe that's part of the haunted house thing. That's interesting. Okay, I don't think we put the kids artwork on the wall anywhere because I kind of knew we wouldn't be staying here very long and I didn't want to accidentally leave something behind. All right, I think that's everything. Let's bulldoze. Yeah, see how much money we got from that? Now we have enough to move, no problem. Why'd you put the baby in my inventory again? My little alien baby. Surely you can survive a little bit of time in household inventory. Sorry, I accidentally clicked into Magnolia Promenade. This is the lot we used to live on. Why is there a bassinet there? Did we forget a baby? Oh, I have so many questions. I'm gonna have us come visit this lot real quick because I need to investigate further. That's not our baby, is it? Now it's not here, it's just an empty bassinet. <gasps> That's so interesting. Okay, I'm gonna chalk that up to the game glitching, but like, imagine, imagine we actually forgot a child this whole time. I don't think we have, like I've been keeping a pretty rigorous spreadsheet, but like imagine, that would've been awful. All right, moving in. Oh wow, it's snowing. I kind of forgot we were in winter, not gonna lie. We're not in winter, we're in spring. Also, I noticed this house in the distance has this night's banner hanging outside and that's pretty cool. It's a bar within walking distance. How convenient. Oh, the trees look less pretty in the winter. Dang it. It's spring basically. All right, I'm gonna put our garden back here kind of around the jacuzzi. We could honestly maybe downsize it at this point, but it makes such good money. I don't want to. All right, all the trees are in. All right, and we got all the grapes out too. Then one last thing. I realized I forgot to actually make this a tiny house. Let me do that real quick. So in case you're wondering how to do this, go through and delete all of your floors and then delete a wall in each room so that all the lighting looks glitched. Then create a one tile wide wall and you're just gonna move it into all the spots that you deleted it. Now you'll see that the lighting has become less glitched now, but my tile count hasn't increased. If you have move objects on when you do this, it shouldn't mess up your wall decorations either, which is so nice. All right, when all your lighting is looking good and unglitched again, go through and patch up any wallpaper you deleted. Now notice you can't do shift to apply all anymore because it'll even apply it to the wrong side of the room. So you'll have to do each one by hand, which is annoying, but a small price to pay for the perks of a tiny home in a mansion. I almost always miss a spot. So if I did, we'll just catch it later and then go back in and add your flooring. Now again, you won't be able to do the shift click to do the whole room because they're not technically rooms anymore. So you just need to click and drag for the tiles you actually care about. And soon enough, your house looks back to normal but you have the perks of a tiny home. It is worth noting that sometimes, especially around dawn and dusk, the lighting will glitch out, especially on the floor. And if that annoys you a lot, maybe this hack isn't worth it for you, but it's very worth it for me in my challenge gameplay. <laughs> gonna go through now and add all of our family specific stuff and the cat stuff that I forgot to add in the first place. And I guess I can sell all the apples while we're here. We are wealthy. All right, time for the tour. It kind of looks sort of magical with the snow, to be honest. So here's Casa de Shasha. We have this hedge lined walkway that leads onto this covered porch. And then outside we have some fun and skill building items for the kids, as well as a blanket for picnics and other things as well. A bike for Shasha and then some kid bikes if anyone wants to learn. Our garden and then back here, a 
jacuzzi. Then inside, I kind of was going for a ranch house vibe, and you can see inspiration from that, although some of the individual rooms deviate quite a bit. But I think it's really prominent in like the living room, dining room, and kitchen. We have this nice yellow pattern, some missing chairs for some reason, some high chairs, and a very big kitchen using the country kit stuff. I really like how this came out. The yellow of the kit and the yellow of the Home Chef Hustle Pack really match, which is not something you can always say for colors between packs. Here's the toddler bathroom, and look, we even have room for a changing table this time. And then the toddler room! It's so cute with the little rugs! Oh, I love it. And this is the kids' room, kind of going with the orange and blue theme, very funky. I really like it. I tried to give more detail with the clutter and the wall decor and things. This is the hobby and skill building area, and I just noticed that the trees are clipping, and, um, I don't care enough to fix it, honestly. This is the teens' room, and I think it looks so cool! Look at all of the stuff on the walls. I love it. And the clutter. There's so much personality stuffed into this room. Then Shasha's room. Pretty simple as usual. Featuring the book from the Reaper's Rewards event. Her ensuite bathroom. And then here's the nursery. This is what I wanted to do in the old build. And I didn't give myself enough room. But look how nice it looks. And our weird little alien child. That's fine. That's fine. We have a changing table. We have enough room for triplets. Oh, I love this nursery so much. Then this is the kids room. We have two dining tables that we're using as desks with a bunch of chairs and a bunch a school project for them to do. And the toddler play area. It's kind of bare, but I wanted to make sure they had enough room to use the slide and get in and out of the tent. But yeah, I really like this build. I definitely think it has more personality and less prison vibes than some of my other 100 baby builds, so I'm excited to play in it. Alright, then I guess without further ado, let's get started. So the kids are B students, and they haven't actually finished their homework yet. Oh no, we deleted their homework. Okay, not all of the homework. Those of you that still have their homework, can you share with Jennifer so that she can do her homework? Oof. Alright, they might not age up tomorrow and it's okay if they don't. We kind of didn't take care of them all weekend because we were trying to make ambrosia for our last baby daddy, which is Ghidri from the Paranormal Stuff Pack. So it's okay if they're a little behind. And then Shasha, I want you to do something that I've been gearing up for a while. Here, come out to the backyard for this. This is special. We have this plumbite here that takes care of all of our needs and all of our kids' needs except for the newborns. And last episode, we finally learned the copy pasto spell. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius! It worked! Okay, we are just uh, gonna break it now and do that a bunch of times. You may have noticed that I put a bunch of gem charging tables all throughout the house. This is why. We're just going to have a constant supply of gems so that I don't have to worry about anyone's needs ever again and I can just focus on skill building. Is this not even costing money? Yeah, it's not even costing money. That's insane. But we can still sell them for full price? Oh, our specter's warning us. You're looking really magical. Like, maybe too much? Be careful. Oh! I don't want Shasha to get cursed. Let's maybe chill out a little bit. I'm not sure how to reset that. I think just by not doing magic for a little while. Oh, we have talent points. Oh, we can reduce failure from overcharge. That's probably good. Oh, oh, maybe discharge, which will make that go down. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. Please don't die, Shasha. Oh, that went all the way down. Perfect. All right, Shasha, thank you so much. I'm just going to put these on the grid now so they can start charging tonight. I might have overestimated how many grids we needed, but that's okay. Oh, that's amazing. That's such a hack, but I don't care. I feel like anything that works is free game in this challenge. All right, the kids are working on school projects. Oh, and our alien baby is upset. Let's go take care of him? Her? Ah, her. She's so cute! There's a special alien interaction! Come on, come make fun of our ugly baby. Oh, the welcome wagon's here. Perfect. What a great time to meet my neighbors and hide my alien child from them. <gasps> our son Mateo called and someone asked him on a date? Oh, for sure! So all of your last name is Fire? No, your house. I don't know the get-together NPCs very well, to be honest. Um, sure. We can have some gourmet fruitcake. Hope you like the fruitcake. It's a family heirloom? Well, she does like it, apparently. So you got lucky there. Bringing your family heirloom to a neighbor's house. All right, we can super efficient newborn care Jordan. Since we only have one infant, that's actually really easy. Oh, let's hang out with her. She's actually kind of cute. It's sort of nice to only have one kid right now. I was going to say, look how cute they are. But Jordan's like hard clipping through Shasha's arm. And it's kind of terrifying. Does that happen with the normal babies? I don't like that. All right, where are all of our neighbors? Because they're not talking to the kids. But the welcome wagon's still happening. Oh, they're in my dining room. 
Right, eating the fruitcake, because I called them to a meal. That makes sense. I can't believe there's no one who can get Shasha pregnant here as part of the welcome wagon. That's actually really inconvenient for us. Well, I think I'm going to end the welcome wagon early. We met our neighbors, we had fruitcake, and we didn't meet any guys, and that's actually really upsetting. Shasha, you kind of need to get started on your next romance, actually. Let's open Cupid's Corner. Ah, oh, dang it, I wanted to get a picture with my alien baby in the background. Oh, well. That's so much worse than the photo she already had taken. I regret doing that. <laughs> Oh, we have some Sims from the gallery. That's cool. I like this one. We can't date Santa again. He's already proposed and we already said no. We've already had a kid with him. I think you're new, but honestly, I'm kind of digging the guy from the gallery. Plus I like supporting other creators. So we're gonna try and match with this guy. Let's ask him on a date. We could just do a blind date, but that's how we met our last baby daddy. And that's how we got an alien baby. We can take it a little slow because Shasha's currently pregnant. So she can't get pregnant again. So maybe let's just stargaze, be romantic, maybe watch TV together. Together, maybe have some drinks. I'm gonna add in this bar from Vintage Glamour to facilitate those drinks, by the way. All right, Shasha, come greet your date. There he is. Oh, he's immediately going into the kid's room. And getting on my computer? Oh, I forgot to set the security settings. I like to lock it for everyone but the household because otherwise our neighbors just come over and use our computer when they're supposed to be socializing. Lame. Let's see, we need to socialize, stargaze, flirt, and drink something. Let me pour drinks for us. This is apparently the first time Shasha has touched alcohol this whole playthrough. <laughs> Okay, grab a drink together. Where'd the guy go? I should probably learn his name at some point. Sean. Sean, where'd you go? Yeah, stop exploring my massive house and come have a drink with me. All right, let's beguile him, put him in a flirty mood. Oh, I guess my VTuber is kind of in the way of the date UI. Let me scooch that down. Is that better? <laughs> Do we like that? I'm still trying to figure out where to put her, or I guess me, so that she's not blocking stuff on the screen. But that's good for now. All right, we're beguiling him, and we have some flirtatious interactions queued up. All right, now we can stargaze or sky gaze. Do we want to come out here and do that? Watch sky with Sean. I'm sorry, it's Sean Mendez? Was his last name on Cupid's Corner and I just fully missed that? Because if so, that's embarrassing. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we're just casually on a date with a celebrity then. Celeste, why are you here and why do you not like me? Oh, right, 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 right. Your husband uh, cheated on you with me. I'm sorry about that. That was like forever ago though. That was our second baby. Are you really still mad? Come on, let's be friends. All right, they're kind of cute together. Wow, look at them. It's odd that we can't flirt from the blanket, but that's okay, we can get up. Oh, the baby's upset, the baby's upset. Quick, come do super efficient newborn care. Then we'll be right back to our scheduled date. Okay, we need drinks again. This is your friendly reminder that you shouldn't drink while you're pregnant and that these drinks are non-alcoholic. All right, we have to sky gaze again. I guess I kind of deserve this because I only gave us three activities to do for a whole date. Tevin, why are you here? This is the alien baby daddy. Why are you at my house? Oh, he's jealous, but he's open to reconsidering boundaries. Well, just keep walking then, nothing to see here. Hey, we finished our date and we got a silver medal. That's not bad. They are very satisfied in their relationship, how cute. And the romantic relationship between Shasha and Tevin has fizzled away. Good, he didn't tell us he was an alien. You think I should go yell at him? Nah. All right, let's give Kelly some food, clean up after the house party and take care of Shasha's needs a little bit. Oopsie, I missed a wall. I I knew I would. Oh look, two of the kids finished their robots. How cute. Oh no, Jordan's awake. Come take care of her, then you can sleep. And then we can speed through the night. I can't wait. Ah, oh, the kids are upset because there's a monster under the bed. I forgot to put the nightlight in here again. Oh, I always forget that. We were doing so well. We could have slept through the night. All right, they're doing fine now. Go back to sleep. That's kind of cute that Todd came in to sleep with us. I used to do that all the time when I was little. I'd come and sleep in my mom's room in the middle of the night. Now, my mom had a husband, still does, that made that challenging sometimes. <laughs> so sometimes I would literally just like sleep on the floor at the foot of the bed or next to it. I remember one place growing up, the space next to her bed was like super small, like barely could fit me sleeping, but I would still sleep there. And one time she stepped on me when she woke up and that was so bad. Yeah, I had a lot of nightmares as a kid. So me waking up in the middle of the night and then sleeping in my parents' room was a very frequent occurrence. <laughs> As an adult, I've handled that a lot. I don't get nightmares as often anymore. It's rebate day. Does anyone care about that? Chasha does. I swear it's always rebate day right after I build the new house. I don't have to buy anything new right now. All right, are you guys all ready for school? You finished your homework? I don't really need to do anything with you guys. You're good to go. Oh my gosh, they came and started working on school projects autonomously. What nerds! Oh, and these two are playing dolls together. That's so cute. Everyone's heading to school now. Study hard. All right, Jordan, it's just you and me for a little bit. And Kelly, Kelly's still here. Oh no, Todd got sick at school. 
You okay? Do a health check. All right, then Shasha's hungry. Oh, Todd has another event happening. Todd wants to lie and improve his poster or just turn it in on time. I think just turn it in on time. Be confident in your work. I gotta be. That's okay. Je Jennifer has the same one. All right, you can improve yours. Does that help? Performance loss. Never know with these things, whether or not I'll be good or bad. All right, Shasha, come make some plain waffles. Oh, Mateo's calling. <gasps> You're day lit. Wow. Congratulations! This is our owl familiar, by the way. His name is Sapphire. We got him two episodes ago, I think. Ooh, those waffles look yummy. I took my mom out for breakfast this morning and we got waffles and they were so, so good. I haven't had a waffle in forever, I feel like, and it was amazing. All right, we can put these gems I've been charging in all the rooms now. And I'm not really sure what to do till the kids get home. Jordan should age up later today, but she hasn't yet. I think I'll have her practice some magic. Oh, we have a guest. <gasps> it's Mistletoe. She's our daughter we had with Santa. Hi. <gasps> She's pregnant. Oh my gosh, invite in. Wait, hold on, we have new grandkids. Okay, we already knew about Cecil. Tasha's new, Whitley's new, and she's pregnant again? We knew about Daniela. Dayton is new. We knew about Madeline and Yesenia and Raquel. I think Anaya's new. Ashley's new. Joanne's new. So many new kids. Oh my gosh. Oh, also Shasha just got a new spell. Summon the dead. That's spooky. Oh, our familiar is congratulating us. That's so cute. Wait, okay, I need to know who everyone's parents are. Okay, so we had kids with Santa named Christmas and Mistletoe that could go by Chrissy and Missy for short. I thought that was cute. And then Christmas had Tasha with Carlos Lopez. And I don't know anything about him. I don't think we've encountered him before. Wait, no, 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 no. She's married to Lou Howell? We've had a kid with Lou Howell. No, 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 no. Please tell me you weren't married when we had that kid. Oh, I hate that. Oh no. Wait, okay, but Tasha isn't Lou's kid. She's Carlos's kid. And then Christmas is married. Oh, this is convoluted. Okay. Then Mistletoe, which is the one that just actually came and visited, had Whitley with Kiyoshi. Okay, we don't know anything about him. He has two other kids though. All right, so Whitley has a lot of half siblings. Then Dayton's new, I think. Dayton is Bentley's son. Yeah, Bentley is a deadbeat dad. He hates children and he is Daniela's dad. And he got married to Alice. Okay, I don't know Alice, but she's a different mom than Daniela's mom. And then Charlie. Gosh, Charlie was forever ago. She's married to Ryan and together they have three kids. I wonder if they were triplets because they look about the same age. That's crazy. Well, you know what that means. Gosh, this is going to be so laggy. Wait, that's Maverick's girlfriend. Where did Maverick go? And why is she pregnant? Oh, I have so many questions. Okay. Wait, I've totally lost the plot. I'm so sorry. What? So our first son was Maverick. And when he left, he moved in with his girlfriend, who is that woman I just showed. But I guess since then they broke up. He married this person and then they had... Oh, she already had a kid. How did I not know that? You didn't think to tell me you got married? Is anyone else married? Oh my gosh, Hector's married. Bentley's married. Mistletoe's not married. This is too much to keep track of. I feel like I'm in a soap opera right now. All right, let's move in mistletoe. I don't know who this other woman is, but she's coming too, because I don't know how to separate her from the household easily. All right, then Christmas. Oh, mistletoe and Christmas are neighbors. That's cute. Do we just want to put Christmas in the same household, actually? Then Bentley was living here, but it doesn't look like he is anymore. I don't remember telling people they could move. I thought I told them they couldn't move because I specifically didn't want to have this issue. All right, hold on while we find Bentley. It's a big household he's with. All right, now we need to find Charlie. Ah, she's in Strangerville. Okay. MC Command Center to the rescue. All right, Shasha, come meet your grandkids. This was originally the Oasis Springs Park, but I redid it to be a residential rental. Wait, I'm, I'm not playing as Shasha. How did I not notice? Oh, uh, I think I've had too much of this game for right now. I don't know how long this episode is going to be because it's been a lot of placing gardens and loading screens, but I've been recording for almost twice as long as I usually do. So I think I need to stop. Thank you so much for watching, though. I hope you had a nice time and I hope to see you in my next episode. As always, have a lovely day. Bye.